Hi ladies, welcome back. On today's video, I'm going to talk about my hair. I have had issues with hair loss, hair breakage, shedding, the condition of my hair, and even receding. It's definitely related to menopause. I have had long hair all of my life. But let me tell you, when you start to suffer with increasing bad hair days, hair loss, hair breakage, shedding, it starts to bring you down. It is one of those things, if you're a woman or a man, that when you're having a bad hair day, it affects your whole day. So I'm going to share exactly what I did to find the perfect solution for me. But the things that I'm going to share with you are scientifically proven to stimulate hair growth. So let's get started. First up, I have been on this journey and I've done several videos on hair loss, and primarily, very selfish reasons, my hair started to fall out. It was breaking super easily and I was shedding. Every time I'd step in the shower or brush my hair, I would have a handful of hair. And coupled with the fact I was receding here. Now I don't even wear my hair up very often, so it wasn't anything to do with pulling my hair back tight. It was a condition of menopause. So I tried initially castor oil. Now I love castor oil and if you haven't seen my videos, I'll link them here. It is a miracle oil for so many things, but it's thick, it's treacly and it's super sticky and therefore it's very difficult to control as a hair conditioning treatment. So although I love castor oil, I just couldn't cope with the constant thickness and stickiness and then having to scrub and wash it out the next day. I then discovered rice water. Now rice water is fabulous. It's scientifically proven to help with the condition of your hair, but it takes a lot of organization. You've got to create the rice water and honestly, if you overdo it, it leaves a film on your hair. Then I discovered rosemary oil, and I'm probably late to the party, but rosemary oil blew my mind. Rosemary oil was actually in a clinical trial in 2015, and it was pitted against minoxidil. Minoxidil is the main ingredient in Rogaine, that over-the-counter solution that helps grow your hair. And guess what? Rosemary oil actually did exactly the same as minoxidil. It was proven to stimulate hair growth. It was helping with alopecia, and for me, that was the no-brainer. That was the turning point. I got myself some rosemary oil. I love this one, it's by Nature's Spell. It is pre-blended because we don't want to be putting essential oils on our skin directly. If we're not careful, we can get an irritation. So I love this one. All the blending's been done for me. And the fact that it's clinically proven to help with alopecia, to help with the condition of your skin, it helps stimulate blood vessels, it helps hair growth, and it helps with dandruff, and bonus, it helps with the shine and the look and appearance of your hair. Now that, for me, was a win-win-win. Of course, the next thing that I needed to address was what is it that I'm using to clean my hair? What shampoos and conditioners am I taking into the shower? and how are they affecting my hair. And for years I have been using L'Oreal until somebody tipped me off about this brand that I'm about to show you. This brand have incredible products, all botanicals, all absolutely geared for hair loss, thinning hair, hair breakage, condition of your scalp, healthy overall condition of your hair. And it is this brand here called Puridor. I get asked about it all the time. Puridor, I have the shampoo and the conditioner. Now these are wonderful. I, I rave about it, but they are expensive. Uh, the pair of these will be around about $40, $50, so about $25 each. So I'm not going to lie to you, it's an investment. But is it worth it? Yes, yes, yes. A thousand times yes. This is my hair after using this product for three months. I just feel that I can see that my hair is better. I haven't got those little flyaway bits that a hairdresser will tell you they're baby hairs. They're not, they were breakages for me. But this product, let me read you, 17 Propriety Herbal Blend, tea tree oil, red Korean seaweed, nettle leaf extract, he shu wu, arnia oil, vitamin E oil, black cumin seed oil, sorpa palmetto, argan oil, and more. 
It is literally, I think, hair elixir. It is absolutely superb. When I shower and I wash my hair and then condition it and come out the shower, you can just feel how good this stuff is for you. And I never get comments about my hair other than, your hair looks really healthy, what are you doing? That, ladies, is the best compliment right now for me because for five years I've really struggled. Now on top of my shampoo and conditioner, I do take supplements. I take vitamin D, vitamin C, I take biotin and I absolutely recommend you take biotin and I take vitamin K. If you're taking vitamin D, you need vitamin K as well. And I will link everything that I'm taking that is helping my hair to grow. And bonus, those supplements also have been helping my nails to grow and they don't normally grow either. Now, of course, when it comes to styling your hair, you've also got to be super careful if you have got weak hair or it's breaking or it's damaged. I'm now very, very cautious when it comes to the amount of heat I put on my hair. So I allow my hair to dry naturally as much as possible. And then I protect it with a really good heat spray and I use the Dyson Air Wrap. I know it's not everybody's favorite and it's certainly not within everybody's budget, but for me, I just love the way that I can get a little bit of body in my hair effortlessly. What I don't like to use is like a big hair dryer and really pulling my hair up. I'm just being gentle with it. That's why often in my videos, you'll see that my hair is fairly straight without very much body. And that's because I'm being super gentle with my hair. Now, the only other thing that I needed to sort out was why was my hair breaking around about here? Now, I do highlight my hair and I have done for a number of years, but I only do that twice a year. And it's never been an issue ever until I got older. Now, I was using a hairbrush, which I absolutely loved and I recommended it. And it's this one here. It's got lovely, lovely springs and I loved it but I was noticing that it would snag on my hair and it would tug. So I stopped using this when my hair was wet and instead I changed to this. And now I only use this. This is the Tangle Teaser. They've been around forever, but there's no toys about it. This brush, you can use wet, you can use dry. It is such a fabulous brush. It doesn't tug. It literally seems to be able to just kind of move through any knots or snags without tugging and breaking your hair. And in fact, when I look at the brush compared to this brush, when I actually brush my hair, the amount of hair that's in this compared to this, well, there's a big difference. So that's it, ladies. That's everything that I'm doing currently to combat menopausal hair breakage, hair loss, hair shedding and hair receding. Now, if you've got any comments or any questions about what I've mentioned in this very quick video, do leave me a comment. I always read them and I always try and answer. I do hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, perhaps give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't done so already, remember to subscribe. I bring videos every single week to help you look good and feel fabulous. Until the next time, bye for now.